What up, Transformer fans? This is Sean Long of the Transformers Matrix bringing in their BotCon exclusive review. This time of the Transformers BotCon 2009 Wings of Honor Ultra Landshark. Now, Landshark is a repaint of Energon Landmine. He's the biggest figure of the five figure set. Really nice color scheme. I like the greens and orange, and really nice Elite Guard symbol right there. Um, he's really cool. He's very like. Um, Kind of like tow truck construction type vehicle. Don't know much about Land Shark, but he, uh, on his text box he says he's a tough guy. So. You think you are tough? I have whips. Oh, but I can fall over easily. Now Land Shark comes with this retractable hook. Our mateys worth this pizza pan. And it, it has a little string, and if you press the little button right here, it retracts. Hey guys, I caught me a hot wound. Of, or hot shot, that is. I told you, just because I'm not a Revenge of Fallen toy, I still function. And Shark also comes with a little missile launcher. Uh, this little thing he rotates and you press the button here. And, oh, for the ladies. This back piece separates from uh, Land Shark's truck part. So now you see the two separate nodes. When he doesn't have this battle station little part, he's a little bit bigger than the deluxe, so pretty good size. You can actually transform this battle station where you can have it facing up, or I don't know, you can do it many different ways. Ah, oh, crap, the missile fired. The transform land shark, just like in a giant landmine, you want to separate these pieces right here, bring this part up here, and this will be his killer crotch area. And you want to take the legs and bring them down right here, and this will clip into place and what you want to do with the feet here there's a little hole right here and you want to tab it into uh, this hole right here so do the same with the other side here rotate it around and tab it in here then you want to make sure to bring out the heels real quick give them more stability extend the legs now you want to separate the arms from this back piece right here once you separate these arms you bring this part down right here and rotate the arms down. Bring these shoulder pieces to the side right here. Lift this head up. And you bring out the hands here. And there you got Land Shark in his robot mode. Really awesome head sculpt. He has the blue visor. He has a really nice elite guard symbol right there. The paint job is nice and sparkly. The green and beige works really well with him. It works really, really nice. Land Shark's head can rotate 360 degrees. His arms can rotate 360 degrees. You can go in and out, bend at the elbow, rotate 360 degrees at the elbow. You can go forward and back, in and out, bend at the knee, rotate 360 degrees at the knee. And his feet can pivot quite a bit. So he has quite a bit of posability. This piece, Land Shark, has a power link mode, just like all the Energon figures. So we gotta separate these pieces right here do is you separate these pieces right here which will be his big old claws you want to you want to extend them out here have a big old claw hand here do the same for the other one here open them up here and this piece right here you want to bring these uh, tabs out right here now he has two little tabs and holes that go in the back here this piece a little tricky putting on, but that's how you put it on once it's in there. Then to put on the big claws, you just put it, push in the hands right here. Take the little tab right there and put in the hole right here. Put the little tab right there. A Botcon Land Shark in a super I want to give you a hug mode. Give me a hug, come on, you know you wanna. I'll give you a hug, man. Thank you, MC Pennington. You are a virtual bond robots. Size comparison time. So here you can see that Land Shark, he is the biggest out of the group. He's taller than Flack, and he definitely towers over um, Cup. I never had the Energon landmine mode, but this is a really cool figure. It's the biggest one out of the set. Has the cool combining mode. Pretty cool uh, features and really nice articulation. Really nice look. So he's definitely a keeper out of the group. And definitely, if you don't have this mold, well, if you want to get the Botcon uh, one, then definitely, if you want to spend the money, you should go right ahead. But if you haven't gotten this mold yet, then definitely pick up. It's really worth it. Hope you guys enjoyed my review. Stay tuned for more Botcon reviews as well as other Transform reviews. Subscribe to my channel if you like. And this is Sean Long. <laughs>